The ranked transit camp near the South Sudan-Sudan border is overwhelmed with Sudanese refugees and returning South Sudanese, enduring dire conditions and lack of resources. Originally intended to accommodate 3,000 people, the camp now houses double that number. Kueya Darhak, a former headmaster from Sudan, has become a community leader at the camp, overseeing meal distribution and ensuring the most vulnerable, such as women and children, receive food. However, shortages persist, leaving many empty-handed. The fighting in Sudan, which began in April, has resulted in the deaths of at least 860 people and forced half a million to flee the country. The crisis exacerbates the existing refugee situation in South Sudan, which already had 2.2 million displaced people. Now, an additional 800,000 South Sudanese have been displaced by the fighting in Sudan. The UNHCR reports that an average of 1,500 people are arriving daily in rank since the conflict began. The UN has appealed for $253 million in funding to respond to the Sudan crisis, with the South Sudan response alone requiring $96 million. However, international donors have contributed only 10% of the needed amount so far. The delayed response has led to the loss of lives, with malnutrition and unsanitary conditions causing a rise in communicable diseases. Tragically, children are dying in the camp, such as a two-year-old boy who succumbed to measles. The international community aims to address the humanitarian response in Sudan and the region through a high-level pledging event on June 19.